I'm back. Told you I'd be here. So now we're on to Sonic Chaos. Uh, I guess for comparison, we consider this in a way the Sonic 3 and Knuckles are the 8 bit games, the third one in line. If you ever do a trilogy run, this is the third game. Uh, this is one I learned earlier this year or so. So I haven't ran it many places. You may not have seen it, at least run by me. Don't know that many other people run this, particularly on the Game Gear version. People seem to gravitate towards Master System. Why? I don't know. I'd like this one on Game Gear, but that's just me. Alright, let's go ahead and get it started. I'll give a fair warning. Uh, at the end of stages, you might see me pause in my talking so I can focus. I will explain that as I go. Let's go ahead and get this started. We do have our choice of Sonic or Tails. I have to date only learned Sonic, so that's what we're playing as in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Right, starting off in Turquoise Hill. So the movement in this game is very different than what we just saw. We have a peel out, as you just saw, and we also have a spin dash. Uh, you're going to see me utilizing both of those, just depending on what stage I'm in. You were supposed to roll jump there, Sonic. That's all right, get over here. All right, so that was good. So what I'm trying to do there is I'm timing a peel out to the right side of the screen. The reason being is at the end of that speed countdown, Sonic will get moved to the right, and once he's off screen, you'll have to fade out. We want that to happen as soon as possible. So by having some momentum, you assist in that. Don't grab that. Okay. You do not want that invincibility. In general, you don't want invincibility in this game. It slows you down so much. We have this rocket. It takes us very quickly to the right side of the screen. Do another one of these. So what I don't want to happen there is I don't want to be on the left side of the screen when that countdown ends. If I am, Sonic starts from zero and is going to move slowly to the right side of the screen, losing a lot of time. You don't want that happening. I just realized I have my splits up for this game. I've forgotten the split. Eh, we don't need them. Our first boss, so I'm going to wait for him to get to a very specific point there. Jump behind him, roll into him five times, and he's already dead. I did get a nice little peel out there. Alright, and we're through the first stage of the game already. On to Gigapolis, or Gigapolis, whatever you want to call it. Going to avoid those rings. We will be collecting ring boxes later. They're going to be very important in a few stages. Never lucky. But not here. The reason that's going to be important is when you get 100 rings, you immediately transition to a special stage. Don't jump over signposts, by the way. Oh, on a roll so far. Cool. Now, there are reasons we want to go to special stages in this run. We're going to be doing it ideally three times, because when once you enter and then leave, you move on to the next zone. Next act, rather. And we will be wanting that. Not much special in these stages. You don't want to hit that spring. I jumped a little early. Get out of my way. So yeah, you can see... If I have a lot of time where I'm moving to the right and no enemies in the right, in the right, in the way, I am doing a peel out. But if there's going to be enemies there, I'm going to be doing a spin dash. Uh, because if you walk into enemies or you run into them all in the peel out state, you're going to take damage. All right, so act three, this is an interesting boss. There's three tubes here, and if you go in through the top tube, you need to hit the boss less. There we go. I am not going to try and peel, time a peel out in this one. Uh, it's a very strange window. It's much longer than the others, for whatever reason. Alright, Sleeping Egg. This stage... It sucks. 
That's the best way to describe it. I, this stage is a nightmare, especially right here. I've died so many, try so many times trying to get to that. But it looks like we are good today. All right. And then the next stage is going to be our first of the Emerald stages. Special stages, whatever you want to call them. I've had good peel-outs today. All right. I'm happy with that. So we're going to grab 100 rings. Unfortunately, there's a lot of ring boxes in our way. We just need to get to the path that they are on. So, first right here. That was 30. We have another set there. We have rings there. And then we have all these. So directly in our path, we're here in the special stage. We're just going to hold right. Fall that ends the special stage. And we're on to the next act. Much quicker than going to the end of the stage. You're going to see that in a couple more stages coming up as well. But first, we have more to get through. That was unfortunate. Don't fall. Okay. It's a little off of my jumps there. This boss can be easy or can be hard. I'm going to position myself so. Wait for it to come down just enough. And at the very apex of my height, then I hit right to get on it. When you're on this boss, you do need to be... Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. You do want to be on the left side or else you will die. It's just the way it works. So I did bonk my head there. Or bonk my head. I bonked Sonic on the right side of the screen a little early. That's fine. I would rather do that than be on the left side of the screen when that transitions. This stage is pretty much hold right the way. I'm going to do a quick left right there just to grab that rocket. Another thing you've seen and I just didn't have a chance to mention was those springs. Not sure what they're actually called, but you jump on it and you get two bounces out of it. Uh, you'll see one in this stage coming up, which will take us from pretty much the halfway mark all the way to the end. This stage. The next two stages, honestly, are kind of a pain. So I'll do some jumps here, land on a spring. You do not... The easiest way to explain that. You don't want to stand still on those, I guess you could call them Lego brick looking things. Nice, got that. Uh, if your momentum is too slow or you're standing still, you will fall through them and either die or just hit whatever's below them. This boss is a pain. I don't fully understand it. I've had good luck lately. I don't want to go that far. Do some small jumps there. So this boss, if you're not careful, it's easy to die on. I do have a pattern that I do that typically has worked well for me. Just not consistently. So some of these hits count. Some of them don't for whatever reason. I want to be careful to not fall under him or get hit by those lasers, I suppose you could call them. This is not going well, but that's okay. We did it without dying. That's all I care about. One day I'll understand that boss and can uh, explain it a bit better. Yeah, you get a lot of Contis in this game. All right, Aqua Planet. So both of these next two stages, ideally, we are going to be going to the special stages. So I'm collecting a lot of rings right now. Oh, uh, you know what? At this point, I'm just better off taking intentional death. Unfortunately, there are some tight jumps you need to make here. It's also, it's a water level, so there's a lot of lag. No surprise. Uh, meaning you have a lot of eaten inputs. It's definitely a challenge. And yes, I just went through some rings and did not grab them. Why? I don't know. Don't get hit there. Okay, we should be fine. Jump our way over to these final. And since I'm a little short, I can grab a ring up there. That's fine. That's probably still faster taking that death than if I had tried to go to the end of the stage normally. It's very, very slow. And we're going to do the same thing here, though hopefully first try, and hopefully not die to that spike or pole or whatever you'd like to call it. We have our first batch of rings here. I'm so glad that spring's there because I could not get a jump. 
definitely gonna jump here. Sonic, you're supposed to roll. Thank you. See, I can't imagine trying to get through these stages normal and quick with all the lag you deal with. That should be our last Emerald stage, unless something crazy happens I'm not familiar with. So do not grab that invincibility there. It's, I've said it before, it's a huge amount of lag. It's not worth it. So this boss, I'm gonna actually focus on. I've been working on it lately, trying to make it nice and fast, and I already messed up a jump. Okay, we'll do this. That's all right. Now, hope we don't die here. So I discovered that the other day. You can get four hits in there instead of just jumping immediately on top of the boss. That saves a good chunk of time. So this is a multi-phase boss. You saw phase one was those bullet birds, whatever you want to call them. That's phase two. We have phase three right here. Just stand here and you're good to dodge all six of these. So we are going to move here. Jump in. Jump a little early. That was our last hit. Bunked against the wall. That's okay. Um, so, we're almost done this run. It's a very quick game. It's a short game. It's one I highly recommend to anyone looking to get into classic Sonic speedrunning, particularly if you are interested in the 8-bit games. Electric Egg. This stage is pretty simple. It's another pipe maze. They love these things on their 8-bit games. They're full of them. Worst part about this is don't fall down there. Totally was safe the entire time. I had no worry. And we're here at the end of the stage. It's mostly hold right. Yeah, I've done really well with these peel outs today. So I can show you how to go fast. The two stages left. This one, it's not difficult. It's easy to mess up the start. I should be good there. You don't want to go into that, but you do want to hold left a bit to be able to hit that zipper or whatever you'd like to call it, uh, just to gain extra speed. And we're just going to peel out literally to the end of this stage. <laughs> hold right, and we're here at the end. Meaning we're coming up on the final boss, Electric Egg 3. Uh, it is... The stage part of it is not challenging, although we are going to try and save some time at the end of it. The boss itself can be challenging. We need to be bouncing on him the entire time, and we want to be on the left edge of him. And that is so... By the way, you might have heard this music recently. Like in the prior game. Uh, that is so he just fires projectiles forward. I did a quick left right there, by the way, to get into this area quicker. You're meant to fall down and take a platform up. So right here, I need to stay on the left edge. So you get that projectile. As I try and balance myself. There we go. If you are on the right edge of him, he will fire a projectile that just bounces around the room. And it will kill you. So we have one more hit to get. I gotta time this carefully. Good. Even if you have rings there and you get hit, you are dead. That's time, by the way. As I said, it's a pretty short game. Nice and fun, too. And we did not get the emeralds, as Robotnik kindly shows us. Yeah, that was Sonic Chaos. That run, honestly, not too bad. If I hadn't had that issue in Aqua Planet 1, that would have been PB. So I can be happy with that. So that's all the good games I have to show you today. You have other Sonic games coming up. HUD is running, I believe it's Sonic 3 and then Sonic and Knuckles separately. And then I will be back with an experience you probably haven't seen, although I did run it on this channel a long time ago, in Sonic Jam. So hope y'all stay around for that. Thank you for watching both Sonic 2 and Sonic Chaos, and stay tuned for more Sonic.